Well, during the pandemic, the pool installation business they shot up 24%. That's according to an industry trade group. But during that time, several homeowners say that they were ripped off and they lost thousands of dollars. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman. He joins me now with more on this statewide problem. Dave. Honey, our reporting, along with that of our sister station in Tampa, shows just three pool installation companies are accused of failing to pay more than $11 million to hundreds of customers and subcontractors. The owners of two of these companies have been criminally charged. For him to take the money and just walk away, it's, it's a disgrace. Diana Decker's talking about Ricardo Villarroel, who owned Villa Pools and Paving in Palm Springs. He's charged with racketeering. The state attorney general's office says Villa owes 97 customers more than a million dollars for pools he contracted to build but never finished. As soon as he got his check, he was a happy guy and I'm out of here and you never see him again. On the Treasure Coast, the owners of Amori Pools faced money laundering and fraud charges. After paying the deposit, some of the victims never heard from Brian and Crystal Washburn again. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement claims Crystal and Brian Washburn cheated 150 customers out of two million bucks for pools that were not built to completion. They stole my joy. The Florida Attorney General's office is suing the owner of Olympus Pools near Tampa, claiming it owes more than 200 customers and contractors about eight million dollars. Well, I was frustrating. I'm every single time I look out the window, I see this backyard. How could all those left with backyard eyesores avoided all this? Consumer lawyer Paul Herman says. The first mistake many make is to rely on online reviews. You get references, specific references of somebody, not just an online review when there might not be any accuracy to the statements. Herman also recommends a look at the Better Business Bureau. All three companies we looked at had F ratings. The Boca Raton attorney adds homeowners should shop around and be wary of the lowest bid. And finally, Herman says when customers feel cheated, they should call their state attorney's office. Because the more people that do, the more they're going to give attention to it. And some of these homeowners who feel cheated have another vulnerability. Some subcontractors who didn't get paid by pool builders put property liens on customers' homes. So what that means, property owners find themselves victimized more than once. Honey? Dave, thank you for that report.